Okay, hi guys. So I thought today it would be fun to go tiny library hunting. I've been wanting to do something with all the tiny libraries that are in our little beach community because there are so many. It seems like there's some like every other block and I want to just like see what they have. I also have books to donate. So I have my little chauffeur and we're going to drive around and just check them out and this is not really my thing. I am such a new book girly. Like I love the new fresh printed books. So we'll see if I find anything that really catches my eyes. Something I really want to read. Something I've been thinking about reading. We'll see. I don't know really what to expect. I've looked through a few in the past but I'm not a big book thrifter. But maybe this will turn me into one. Um, we'll see. Let's find some books. So cute, it has little walks. Okay, let's see what we have in here. Okay, Duncan was giving me such a hard time for bringing some like used cookbooks we have, but I think that would be so fun to donate some cookbooks. I love cookbooks. I love tabbing them and this is a cute book. Kind of into cowboy romance right now. Oh my gosh, look at this romance. So cool. What is that? Okay, so we have some memoirs. lot of older books none that are really calling to me I just love I just love these like old romances I think that's so awesome I think I'm gonna go grab I have like a Bobby Flay cookbook I think that would be fun to put in here um, and yeah we'll, we'll go to the next Okay, we are now at our second stop, um, but I did want to mention I found a little free library app. So it's called Little Free Library. Not every um, free library around here is registered on the app, but there is a good amount. I thought if you guys were like interested in also going on a little free library hunt, that would be a good little tool to have. It's a really nice app and if you see you can kind of see a map and then you can click on some have pictures some don't so when you go and visit these little libraries you can like check in and say that you were there um, you can take pictures so it's a cool little thing to have I thought it was fun so yeah if you're interested look into it better options in this one this is looks like a, a common life a wedding story it's a really pretty cover oh i love the big text <laughs> let's see what else i have Oh, I think I've actually seen this one before. Where do you go? National bestseller. So a novel. 
level. That's pretty. I think I might donate one of my um, Francine River books, hardbacks, to this one. If you know me, I'm a big Francine Rivers girl, so I'm gonna donate that to this one. This one's really cute. See if I know any of these kid books. There's so many more kid books, which makes my heart happy. I don't know if I know any of them, though. That's so cute. There's Elmo. Cute. Okay, I think we're gonna stop at two more today. And if you guys end up loving this video or liking it, this could be a little series, but I have to end up getting a book. My husband's really on me about, I need to pick a book. He's saying, you don't know, it could be five stars. So I need to stop being so picky and just grab one. I'm not used to this like thrifting, like I'm used to new books. I don't know. I've always dreamt of actually building my own little library and I've just been thinking like as we're doing this, it's so cool to think of like the other people that have read that book, where it might have been. Like someone might have had it on a vacation or in another country and read it and it's just like, it's cool. So I think maybe if I do my own little free little library, I'll put library cards in it so people can write their names, where they're from and the date. I think that would be really cool, but we're at our third stop. so. Fingers crossed that I find something that really catches my eye. restaurant daily special one. Oh, James Patterson. I feel like you can always rely on a tiny library having a James Patterson. New York Times bestseller for the fall. Oh, that's a really pretty cover. Their eyes were watching God. There's no book more important to me than this one. One of the most important works of the 20th century American literature. The Eyes Are Watching God is an enduring southern love story sparkling with wit, beauty, and heartfelt wisdom. Oh, you guys, this might be it. I'm really liking the looks of this one. The Dash, making a difference with your life. Behind the scenes at the museum. New York Times. This, so I've actually met this woman before and she does work at the local library. So I feel like she keeps her little library stacked with good ones. There's a lot of New York Times bestsellers. ESPN is calling. Guys, I think I might take her and I have this Weathering Heights that I just think is gorgeous by Emily Bronte and I think this little library deserves her. Oh, she might not fit right there. But I want her to be on display. Let's see. There you go. Okay, I picked one. I picked one. You happy now? Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is so jam-packed. I don't even know where to start. This is where I get overwhelmed. Okay. There's still our old school romances, which I'll forever love. There is some kid books. Cute. 
see. Well, this looks like a new book. The Murder Game. Also, does not sound like a book I would enjoy. No, I do not want to come out and play. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, it's two rows of books. There's another row of books behind this row of books. R is for Ricochet. I don't know any of these books. None of these books are Silent Bite, The Military Wife. None of these books are ringing a bell. Through the Grinder. Some of these are just spooky. Interpretation of Murder. This one just seems to have a really, just seems to have a theme of killing, maybe. So, because of that, I think I'm gonna donate a Francine Rivers book, but I don't know where to put her. This little library needs the lineage of Grace. It does, it really does. I think I might just put her in the middle. Okay, <laughs> okay guys, so we did four little libraries today. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. It's definitely fun like looking through them, but it's definitely a patience thing. When you go in a bookstore, you go in and you go to the section that you're looking for, but this you have to take your time. Not every little library is gonna have the genre you like or the type of book you're looking for. So I used to be such a thrifter for clothes. So I don't know why that didn't transfer to books. But it's definitely fun because every library is a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. So if you guys did enjoy this video, you can give it a like and just let me know and we can make this a little series. And maybe I'll get into thrifting. I've said that like 10 times now, but I'm trying to will it into existence. So we'll see. All right. Love you all. See you next time.